we have got a new family of models from Alibaba, China, and we are going to quickly look at uh, the models and also very briefly test the model. This is not an extensive model research video. Rather, we are going to understand what the models are and certain benchmarks that they've given. I would like to quickly introduce you to the sponsor to my new course, Generative AI for Beginners. This course is basically a culmination of my last one and a half years of learning and teaching. This course is designed to bridge the gap between AI professionals and also amateurs. Unlike most other courses, it focuses on true open model. You can build your own applications running on local computer. Right now we have a deal going on. Use the code Let's Go to get this course less than $100. Share it with your friends and also family. The link is in the description for you to purchase it. Thank you so much. And back to the video. So the new model is a family of models called WEN 1.5. Somehow they wanted to get it before Chinese New Year, I think, which is on Feb 20th. So they have released a family of models of different sizes from 500 MB to 72 billion parameters. Yes, you heard it right. They've got a 500 million parameter model. And at the same time, they've got a 72 billion parameter model. So now this is a very good range of sizes because we have not had really great uh, sub 1.5 or sub 2 models. In fact, we have had a stable diffusion or stability AIs, stable models, and we have had phi model, but I'm not sure if those models are as good as this one. So in terms of smaller size, I think this is really good model. You can see a bunch of benchmarks doing really well, but before we jump into the benchmarks, one thing that is striking noticeably good is that they decided to release this along with a bunch of partnership. So this company, uh, Alibaba, along with Quen, the branding, they have partnered up with MLX, or at least they have done all these things. So they've got a Llama CPP version. They've released it in Hugging Face. There is already a Olama version that you can run. There is an already a LM Studio version. And if you have got Apple Silicon, you have got MLX. If you wanted to do fine tuning, they've got a partnership with Axolotl. So they basically have made sure that they would touch upon all the prominent partners in the open ecosystem for these models to run. You want an API, you have got together. You want to deploy it on cloud, you have got VLLM. So kind of touching upon all these things. And the other good thing about all these models is they've got 32,000 tokens. So whether you pick the 500 MB model or whether you pick the 72 billion parameter model, you have 32,000 context window. How good that 32,000 context window? Something that we should put into test, but at least like having a really good context window could mean a lot, especially if you're going to use this for RAG, Ritual Augmented Generation, this could be extremely helpful. Now let's look at some of the benchmarks that they've given. So the benchmarks that they've given, see, uh, first of all, MMLU, CEVIL, GSM 8K, Math, Human Evil, MBP, and they've got a bunch of benchmarks, which I don't necessarily understand. I think this is maybe a Chinese benchmark. So human evil MBPP, these are the benchmarks that would evaluate the programming capabilities of the model. GSM 8K math, they evaluate the math capability and MMLU is one of the most popular model uh, benchmark and also one of the most controversial at this point. So if you see the comparison, Still, everybody reports a different MMLU for GPT-4, which is a shame. Anyways, they have reported 86.4 and they've reported 70.6 for Mixtral 8x7 billion, the MOE, Mixture of Expert Model. And they are saying that their 72 billion parameter model beats Mixtral MOE. And they're saying that their 7 billion parameter model, the Quinn 7 billion parameter model is almost closer to the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. These are quite impressive benchmarks to see. And uh, in terms of other benchmarks like GSM 8K, you can see that they're saying that their model crushes completely the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. And also the 72 billion parameter model is way above let's say the Mixtral MOE, Mixture of Experts model. So in terms of the model, it seems good. I'm not sure like people are still using Llama 2 as a benchmark. I think at this point it is very clear that Llama 2 models are not necessarily up to the mark of what the current open models are. And I kind of understand why they are that. So Llama 2 models are not necessarily the industry toppers. Rather, they want to give you the foundation with which you can fine tune and build the industry toppers. Now, if you look at the tiny models or the small models, you have, of course, you have got the stable LM, the Zephyr 3 billion parameter model. Some of them have managed to add the benchmarks for Gemini Nano. Tiny Llama is a model, but still, I don't, I don't think Tiny Llama is really up to the mark where you can have it against all these other models. 
Phi 2 is a very popular model. We have got at least at this point from Microsoft, everybody talks about Phi 2. So they've got the non embedding parameters and it overall, what is the parameter count? So if you see the 500 MB parameter model, so that model has scored 39 on MMLU while Phi 2 has scored 52.7. This has been the controversy whether there has been data leakage or data con data contamination. We don't know it, but if you compare their 2 billion parameter model, which is let's say in this case 1.8 billion parameter model, that is closer to what a Phi 2 is. But on the other benchmarks, you can see that this model is pretty decent. So it's not quite bad. On the math, you can see that this is 10.1 and Phi 2 is 3.5. This is the 1.8 billion parameter model. And on human evil, this has scored Phi 2 has scored 47.6 while this has scored terribly. I, I think necessarily like if you see all the benchmarks across this on human evil and MBBP, this is not really good with a lot of these kind of scores. Uh, so for example, the Mixtral 8x7 billion, the MOE model has scored 60 on MBBP and uh, this one has scored 53.4. So this is below that. So even though the model is larger, I guess coding is not what they focused on here. I know Quen uh, supposedly focuses on separate coding models. Maybe community can fine tune it, but at least what you can see here is that the box of, out of box models are not really necessarily strong coding models. And again, they have gone into the details about how, how it looks. Uh, they've shared the Alpaca evil benchmark and a uh, few people had uh, mentioned on Twitter about how they have not used a different lens um, and shown. So we can dive into that separately when we have a benchmark related discussion later on in a separate video. But overall, this seems like an impressive model. It has multilingual understanding and um, more than the largest model. Like I know everybody is usually excited about the largest model, but because I don't have the compute, because I don't plan to have the compute, I'm always excited about the smaller models and what you can get done with the smaller models. So in fact, like when I see smaller models like this, I immediately think, can I use them for, let's say an autogen or a crew AI agent. So that is the first thought comes to my mind so that I can get certain tasks done from these models, even if it is like simply writing a social media post. So now they've got a multilingual understanding. You can see the kind of language coverages they have got. So they have selected 12 uh, languages throughout the multilingual capability they went wanted to um, understand. Um, I'm not sure uh, what is the language composition of the model in itself, but according to them, the for languages like Arabic, French, uh, Spanish, French, Japanese, Korean, Thai, this model uh, demonstrates higher quality content and also it can comprehend better. So that is um, exactly what they have mentioned here when they compare it with GPT 3.5. Um, which is OpenAI's free model. So overall, this seems like a good model. It has got a long context uh, support, multilingual support. So everything that you would like to see, um, the model has got uh, something that is there. And if we were to quickly check this model, how it does in some of our tests, I wanted to quickly show you what it has been doing. Of course, I couldn't resist myself, but ask this question, write a joke about Elon Musk making fun of Chinese president. I truly wanted to see the censorship in this model. I don't mind the censorship. Like I'm not part of China, so I'm okay with whatever censorship that they've got, but I just wanted to see what it responds. I'm sorry. I cannot generate inappropriate or offensive content. Elon Musk is a public figure who typically avoids making jokes at the expense of world leaders. Definitely not Elon Musk. Anyways, and it's important to maintain a respectful tone when discussing such individuals. If you have any other topic or type of joke in mind, I would be happy to help. So this question, of course, obviously it failed. Let's check if the model is good with JSON responses. The question here is that give me the closest five planets to sun and give me the response back in JSON file format. I think it has done a pretty good job of giving the responses back in JSON. And also it made sure that it gives me the closest five planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, which is not something that all the large language models typically do. Next, I wanted to understand how good is it in extracting structured information and also obviously following instruction. So I said, give me the entity name or the company name in this, but also give me only that. I don't want like, you know, the entire line saying, hey, this is the company. I just wanted that name alone and it managed to successfully give me Nike. One thing that was surprising to me was Nike was mentioned in uppercase in the text that I gave 
and it gave me back in the proper case. Not a lot of large language model do this thing, but I was surprised to see this happening. And though this model is not the leaderboard topper in coding, I wanted to quickly see a very silly, simple error. How does it do? So I said, uh, find the bug in the following code. So just pause the video and then see if you can find the bug. Uh, it's quite obvious. Like if you know Python, if you know Pandas, it is very obvious to figure out the error. And this model successfully managed to figure out the error and also made me gi give me a proper response about what is the error and then gave me the right code. So I wanted to check one of the most uh, failed questions by a lot of large language models. Sally, a girl has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters? does Sally have? So for the answer to this question, pause the video and think uh, if you can evaluate it. So Sally has only one sister, Sally and the other girl is sister. So totally there are two sisters and that's why, you know, Sally has got three brothers and each brother has got two sisters. Now the question is how many sisters Sally has and uh, somehow it manages to say, okay, two into three is equal to six, which is utterly completely wrong. As far as I know, Mixtral 7 billion MOE, the ATEX MOE model did correctly answer this. So I'm quite surprised to see that they have got a higher benchmark score than Mixtral, but it they failed this question. Maybe this question is definitely not the right sample size to evaluate the model is good or not. Last question that I wanted to try is Taiwan, an independent country. Maybe you saw this coming and this is the response that it gave me. I don't have any opinion. Once again, I'm not like trying to give you a political answer here, but I just wanted to show you how every model would differ when it is being built in a particular geography with a particular ideology. The same goes to the US models. The same goes to the Chinese models. Let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it. But I want to make a separate video about exploring these models further, especially given that it is part of Olama. But I'm excited to see this model. I am a little skeptical about how good the best model in this is, but I'm more interested, also excited about the smaller size models. See you in another video. Happy prompting.